Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemmy Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to send images by email. Now, we'll be carrying on from the previous tutorials where I showed you how to take um, photos from your camera and from your photo library. Uh, the same app um, will kind of... Um, um, project we've been using to uh, post images to Facebook and Twitter so we're going to be expanding on that and now we'll be sh I'll be showing you how to send the images or the image you take that's within the image view by email so first thing we're going to do is add our button in to send email so I'm going to drag and drop one in now and just simply name it email I'll just stretch it out a little bit so it kind of like in same kind of proportions of the Facebook button we're going to click on our assistant editor and we're going to um, click or right click and drag the button there we go and I simply uh, make sure it's an action and I simply name it email so it's underneath our uh, Facebook and Twitter um, buttons I'll get rid of the assistant editor now and the next thing we need to do is import our framework for enabling us to send emails so if we just type in mail well not mail sorry message you need the message UI frame kit uh, once you've imported that, go to our viewcontroller.h and just under the import of our social and accounts, which we use to um, be able to use the Facebook and Twitter um, features, uh, we just put in hash import and then we do message uh, UI uh, forward slash uh, MF uh, mail compose view controller. And then once you've done that, we've implemented our, oh, make sure there's a capital on the message UI. I've missed that out there. Okay, so once you've done that, you have enabled the application to use the um, kind of mail kind of feature uh, within the app. So you head over to our viewcontroller.m. And within all of this code now that we've added from our previous features of our application, uh, I'm just going to make the mail one a little bit bigger so you can clearly see what I'm typing out. And we have to start by doing... MF mail um, compose view controller view controller there we go uh, space asterisk and simply name it composer now this is just like the previous tutorial where I've shown you before how to send emails we're just tweaking it a little bit to enable you to attach an image to the email file so after that we do space equals space bracket bracket uh, mf mail view um, compose view controller again a lock and after that bracket we do space in it and then we have a bracket in a semicolon then we do bracket um, bracket, um, bracket sorry composer uh, set mail compose delegate and in the highlight section we do self and that have a bracket in a semicolon and now we have to do an if statement so if the application or your device uh, is enabled or is able to um, send an, um, the mail so we do if and in the highlighted section we do uh, make sure we got a bracket in there mf mail compose view controller can send can send mail and then in the statement section here we do bracket composer space set recipient sorry set to recipients I was looking for it then I couldn't see it so set to recipients and in the NS array we do bracket NS array space array with uh, objects which is just here and in the highlighted section we're simply going to put in uh, nil but we get rid of the second nil there now this means that when we go to send the email, there will be no preset um, email address in the like, who you send it like into the to option and who you are sending it to. So there'll be no preset um, email address there, but you can set it. Just get rid of the nil and do like at symbol to quotation mark quotation mark, and then in place in an email address that you wish to send it to within there. But this is just to freely have a choice that so you can type in your own email addresses when you come to send it. Uh, I'll show you that in a simulator anyway. So again, you do next line bracket composer, and then we do set subject, 
this is the title of our email so let's put in simply subject so you can kind of see where it displays when we come to build and run on the simulator now next we need to do the uh, message body of the actual email itself so we're going to do uh, bracket composer space set uh, message body in the ns string here we do a uh, bracket ns string uh, space string with format and then in the highlight section we do add symbol quotation mark quotation mark and I simply write a message between these quotation marks so you can clearly see what I'm, uh, where it displays within the email. Holo uh, the HTML section here we do simply known capitals and that are a bracket and a semicolon. Now this is the section here where we add our or attach our image to our email. So what we need to do is ns data space asterisk I mean simply name that data easy enough to understand uh, UI image uh, JPEG uh, representation uh, in the highlighter section here we do the name of our image view which is image view uh, dot image uh, that's what we're going to be using uh, after the uh, comma there we simply do the number one end that with a the bracket there and a semicolon uh, next on the second line we do bracket composer space add attachment data uh, in the highlight section here it's going to be linked to our data which will be what's in our image view in the meme type there we simply do add symbol quotation mark quotation mark oh there we go and then we need to put image forward slash jpeg make sure it's spelled correctly and that uh, it is case sensitive so remember that and then in the file name here at symbol quotation mark quotation mark this will be what the image is going to be called once it gets set to uh, well sent to your receptacle so when they open the email the file name for the image will be called whatever you place in here so if we just put, simply put uh, image.jpg as it's going to be sent in a jpeg format and then we end that array uh, bracket there and a semicolon and now finally we do uh, bracket composer again set uh, module transition we're going to give it a nice transition style uh, and we have the UI module transition style cross um, cross dissolve there so when it loads up it kind of gives that nice fade effect such as all the other stuff like when we load up the camera or the photo roll so it kind of fits in with the app and it's going to look pretty pretty nice when it's all in there done now we need to do self uh, present uh, view controller uh, highlighter section here we need to do composer animated yes and completion no and that with a bracket and a semicolon okay and now we've done that oh we got see we got an error here let me just click on it oh yeah we've missed out one thing we need to head back over to our view controller.h making sure that you guys don't miss this out too uh, next to our ui view controller here where we got our ui navigation controller delegate and ui image picker controller delegate too uh, just at the end here of that one we can do a comma and we need to add in the um, mf mail compose view controller delegate so yeah, I would also enable us that um, missed that out at the start so I'm very sorry about that that should now get rid of our error there we go it's completely gone okay then so now once we've done all that we need to now to put in the um, void statement for if there's any problems with sending an email such as if it didn't send properly uh, dismissing it or if you cancel it so we need to cover all bases there so we simply need to do dash bracket void bracket uh, mail compose controller there we go uh, so th any errors that come up there so what we need to do is in an if statement so if if error and then in the highlighted section here we're going to have a nice UI alert pop up if there's any kind of error that simply comes up or anything like that so tell us what's going on if there is a problem uh, nine times out of ten there isn't a problem this is just to be on the safe side space equals space uh, bracket bracket UI alert view space a lock and add a bracket there and then we do in it with title and now this whole section here will be kind of the basis of setting up the alert so in the first highlight section here we do add symbol quotation mark quotation mark and we simply name it error there within the title of the alert uh, the message will be simply with bracket ns string string with format and in the highlighted section here we do add symbol 
quotation mark, quotation mark again, and then we simply type out error space percentage sign and an at symbol, and then after that we do a colon, um, a comma, sorry, space bracket error space description. So this will read out the description for our um, error there. In the delegate, we simply put in nil. Uh, cancel button, we simply add symbol to quotation mark, quotation mark, put in dismiss, so dismiss the error. Um, other title buttons, we simply put nil in there, and we can end all that with a bracket and a semicolon. So let me just run down this for you now. To make it a little bit easier for you guys to see it, I'll simply enter it on separate lines so you can see what's clearly going on. So let me just space it out for you very nice. So the reason I'm doing this is if any error came to send in an email, whether it be there was no internet connection, uh, it just throwed up a general error, just, just something that made the email not send, uh, you'll get a nice alert pop up and tell you what's going on. So we have the title of the alert that will pop up and say the title is error. The message will say error and it will tell you the error description and then we have our cancel button dismiss so that's clearly what's going to happen. So you know you don't really have to have it but it's a perfect um, little addition to your app. Now we do bracket alert show Ooh. and then that red bracket near semicolon. Okay then, so underneath that also we need to um, dismiss our um, uh, mail view over the screen. So we need to do self um, space dismiss module um, dismiss view controller animated sorry uh, equals um, yes and in the completion no and that are a bracket and a semicolon and if you just want to copy this line and then after this bracket here we um, simply do else um, bracket and in, uh, press enter and then place that in there so else if there was an error so forgetting there was an error altogether it sent successfully or you just wanted to cancel it whatever happened it would just dismiss the view controller anyway to get rid of it off the screen so that's all the coding doing needed there you really don't have to add that alert in there but i know some of you guys may want to do it you may want to be on the safe side and kind of inform your users if any error occurred at any time so now all the um, actions and outlets are all linked off, everything's perfectly fine. We can go straight to build and run on the simulator and then we can simply load an image within the image view from our photo library. I've got a nice um, picture of a car saved within the library on the simulator. We'll place that in and then we're about to show you how to email photos within your app. Okay then, so now once the simulator is loaded up, I can't take a photo as I'm using the simulator, so I have a nice car in the photo library. So we import that into there, into our nice image view. We click on the email button, and now our email pops up. We have our subject title, which we've got here, our message in the message body, and we have our image all placed in our um, image, um, in the body of our message as an attachment ready to get sent. There's no um, preset email address within the uh, to kind of file there which we put nil so you're free to enter anything you wish in there but that's simply how you add images and kind of send them uh, from email so i hope this helps in your apps or projects at the moment uh, make sure you like and follow us on facebook and twitter all the links will be in the description below make sure you go check out all our apps on the app store just by simply searching geek 11 and most importantly if you haven't make sure you subscribe and i'll see you all next time in our next tutorial Come on, Bob. Come on. Come on, Bob. Oh, I got a little more pinky. I got a little more... No, it's not my pinky. I got a little more finger.